everybody, what's going on? This is Cooper with the Front Row Report. I'm here with Josh from the Shrine. Good morning. What is going on, buddy? Waking up. Uh, Waking up. Midnight flight from Los Angeles oh, here into Columbus. Cool. No sleep. Excited to play guitar. Dude, you're a rock star, so like that's normal. That's right? what my mom says. <laughs> mom knows best. Mom, mom knows best. Mom knows best. So first things first, rare breed. You kidding me? <laughs> I mean, like that to me goes back 30, 35 years right. in sound. Um, that sound is coming back, and you guys are yeah. a big part of that. In my, in my personal opinion. Thanks, man. You know, we, we we don't want it any other way. I mean, the way it sounds. We have old amplifiers. We like old music. We like old rock and roll. Old skateboarding. Fuzzy. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um, yeah. So with that being said, Dave Jordan produced that. Yeah, he went into the guitar shop near my house, and and they were playing our last record, and he asked what it was, and the guy told him, our buddy told him about us, and he called us. I mean. How cool is that? The guy's done Social Distortion, Jane's Addiction. A lot, a lot of huge records, oh, yeah. Give me a lot a of huge records. I mean, yeah. I, I, I would assume that, you know, Southern California, that guy's somewhat of a legend, you know? Yeah. I mean, so, were you surprised how that all came about? I mean, obviously, he walked into your guitar shop and was like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little too young. I knew, like, some of his records, but, like, I really, I really didn't even honestly know who he was. Oh, even better. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I'm just like maybe a little bit too young um, to know all the stuff that he's really famous for. But the thing is, when he came to our garage for the first time, he didn't want to talk about any of that shit. Uh, right. He didn't want to talk about himself. He wanted to talk about all the music that we had in common that we liked. Like, one of the first things he started talking about was Captain Beyond and like wow. and like love and like all, old LA. Yeah, it was like he wanted to talk about shit like that. You know, even better. Yeah, it was. So it, was, it, was it was really fun. Hanging kind of out a with kindred him. soul. Yeah, it really was. It was cool. It was kind of a, a a weird question. Do you guys feel like you were born in the wrong generation? I you mean, know, you guys are what 19, 20 years oh, old. No, <laughs> I'm 26 now. Uh oh. Wow. But when we started, I was 18. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You feel like, I mean, like I said, with the music you guys are playing, that that whole vibe. And yeah. Scene, seems to be coming back a little bit, but I definitely feel ripped off a little bit. <laughs> um, the world seems like it's going to hell. Man. More and more everywhere. It's uh, it's kind of scary. It's kind of like uh, you know you feel like drawn between like you know uh, feeling feeling guilty that you're not like contributing more because you feel like you're like a helpless kind of you're just a fucking pawn in the crowd and then you kind of you feel guilty for not like tr you know contributing more and then you you also just try and enjoy your life because it seems like it could end any day. Sure. Well, you're a touring musician, so yeah. I mean like. You know, between gas and food, weed, whatever, you know. Right, yeah. There's only so much you, you can contribute. Yeah, I don't so, know. So, uh, just recently, within the last whatever, you know, point, you know, Century Media came into play for you guys. Yeah, um, they're in our neighborhood, actually. Okay, is that kind of how that came into play? Is no, it... they heard through a friend that Dave Jordan was hanging out in my garage. Oh, so. So he kind of, he, 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 he brought the attention Awesome. Yeah, it was it's, pretty cool. Uh, it's one of those, you know, all the stars aligned. He walked in, worked with you guys. Next thing you know, you're it's pretty cool doing everything. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. man. Uh, we're we're, ha we're having a good time, you know. Like uh, like I said, we're on like no sleep uh, here today. We're definitely not making any money, really, come for what it costs to come all the way out here. Definitely. But but to come out here and to get to play guitar and play for some people that are stoked makes it all Absolutely. fucking worth well, it and more. So I'm, it's put me front of the list. Killer, man. That's awesome. Um, so what on the street is you're a little bit of a skateboarder. Yes. <laughs> What's the first trick? You my heard? my little brother's way better than me really? now, though. I've passed it on. Like uh, okay. he used to come on tour with us a lot, and uh, one time actually we played in in Belgium. And they were having a contest at this festival we we're playing. And he ended up breaking ah. his leg oh, right before the contest started and had to fly home. Did but, you go? Mom's gonna kick my uh, ass. There's, did, <laughs> and 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 it was nuts. I went I with bet. I went with him to the hospital. Here, you go to the hospital, you go to a waiting room, then you go to like a nurse, then you go to a doctor, and then the doctor says you got to have an X-ray, and then he goes somewhere else, yeah. and they do the X-ray. Then they say go back to the room, and the doctor's gonna get the X-ray, and you go wait. And we went into the hospital in Belgium. His fucking foot is broken. He went straight into one room. The doctor put the X-ray thing on his leg, really, and went there. Your leg is broken. I put put a cast on. He, he went to one room, one thing. It was just like. 
What the fuck is wrong with America? So the medicine and the beer is pretty damn good in Belgium. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yep. So we're getting the high sign from the boss already. Um, so we'll just do a couple quick more. Okay? Sure, man. Uh, how did the bless off thing come to play? Now, I know it was a title of a record. Yeah. But And when I saw you guys a couple years ago, like that was your kind of final, hey, everybody, bless off. Yeah. Rather than, hey, fuck off, go fuck yourself. Well, sure. I was like, wow, that's uh, that's interesting. How did that all come out? Um, You know, I don't know. Like, there's... I guess it just straight up came out of like a uh, Jesus freaks trying to like uh, approach you in Hollywood or something. Ah, okay. You know, it's well, like, leave me it alone. Is Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Bless off, motherfucker. Yeah. So I I did see something that was uh, actually pretty interesting, and I uh, we're gonna spin it a different way. What's your black favorite Black Flag record? Uh, I have a My War tattoo. Really? And when I started listening, like about tenth. 11th grade, I started listening past Damage. Yeah. I remember like almost like, should I tell anybody that I'm listening to later records? Because I've heard people talk shit on this. Like, they like it really changed. Yeah, it will. I mean, they went, and and people's people are so people have such harsh opinions about it, and it's like, you know, it's so weird to me because I I go all the way to the end. I love every record all the way to the process of waiting out. Yeah. And it's like. But I remember when I first started listening to that stuff, it almost felt like, am I doing something wrong? Because people are, were, are so closed-minded. You can't. Hey, yeah, they, what the fuck? Henry's yeah. got long hair. Yeah, it's like they're... You know? Yeah, it's crazy. So, that being said, you guys have that old amp from Damaged in your practice space. Yeah. How did you get your hands on that? Because, you know me, I'm an old Dude, punk. Dude, it's I'm an old insane. Punk, it's the... Cre- I, uh, I, I saw that, and I was like... You know? It, <laughs> like... If I, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't believe somebody if they told me. Chuck Tukowski, the bass player, lives in Venice oh, also. It. Really? Yeah, and like so, we we jammed with his band a lot when we first started. Okay. And he had a point where he was selling everything on Craigslist, and he told me he had it. And he asked no me if way. I'd help him sell it on Craigslist. And so like in around my war, like uh, Gin stopped using it. He started using some different amp. It was just you know he wasn't uh, sentimental. It just yeah fell by the wayside. And Chuck held onto it because uh, here's a piece of gear. I'm not going to throw it away. Chuck, Chuck had it ever since, and wow, we have it. son of a bitch. Sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> well, yeah, it does. It fools anybody. Like you know, I, I dial it up and like you know, close your eyes, and nobody's gonna believe that it's a PVPA. Oh that God. that you know, if it was in a store, is, is worth fifty bucks. You know, you can go grab one. You can go get the same one. You know? Yeah, but you can't get the same one. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't get that one. That so came from them. Last question, because now we're getting in trouble. I'm getting in trouble. Sick. Good. You're uh, doing your job. Wh- then. What was your first concert shirt? First concert shirt. Whoa. You know, we, we hold that shit. I know. Close. Wow. Let me think. First concert shirt. I went to the Black Flag. Actually, it probably was a Black Flag show, but it was like the weird, the Greg Ginn one for cats at the Hollywood Palladium, and I got a bootleg shirt. Really? I got a parking lot shirt, yeah, at the Palladium. And I was in ninth grade, and it, like I barely even understood. It was like first week of high school, and somebody else asked me to go. And I'd just really gotten into Black Flag, and oh I, didn't really under, I didn't really understand what was going on because there was all this drama about the show, who was going to play, who wasn't yeah. going to play, and it, it ended up kind of being a weird disaster and not what the show was advertised for. Once again, people are like, you better not have liked that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got to... I gotta, right on. That's definitely... I, can, I, I probably still have it somewhere. Yeah. I, I think that we're kindred spirits. Yeah, man. So, Hell yeah. So... From Rock on the Range 2016. Cheers. Just, it's Cooper. Cheers.